we're at the Haight Street Art Center and it's the first annual invitational screen print show with myself, Mike Giant, and Morning Breath, which is Jason Noto and Doug Cunningham. We're each generating prints and a portion of the proceeds from the sales go to support the San Francisco Skate Club. Each one of us at some point sat in the same art department doing skateboard graphics for a brand called Think Skateboards. For us, it was just that era of what was going on with skate and graffiti and the beginnings of kind of doing work professionally. And it's like I hate that expression, you can't make old friends, but it's, it's true. You know, there's just a different bond with people that you've known for decades. We're working on a poster, Jeremy Fish and Mike Giant are doing theirs, but we're also putting together a third poster that'll be kind of a collaboration. Also, this is like my dream studio. I mean, this is, place is amazing. I mean, look at it, it's like, like a, anything it's like you need. We, we have a very beat up version of that this, table. And then we have that, that's it. <laughs> a lot of people that collect prints don't necessarily understand how they're made. My main goal was to inform the public and the audience of people that collect prints what the difference is between this type of printing and digital printing. You know, there's still a, a touch of like the hand in it and the mechanics in it, and it's not just command P, here's your piece of art. It's not an NFT, you know, it's, it's real. Uh, you kind of can't get around that. I'm still into producing real things. You know, for us, we always say that we can come up with an idea in the morning and have it printed by night. We're looking forward to kind of passing along to young kids and showing that, that there is a future in it. Getting that young energy, working with kids and seeing what they come up with. More often than not, you see something that surprises you. Um, today, we're gonna have you guys basically create some artwork yourself. And then tomorrow, if you come back, you actually can print a poster yourself and walk away with a slight little addition. You can sign it and we'll show you that whole process. The Art Center has this wonderful opportunity to work with younger generations of artists just to continue to perpetuate this medium so that it takes on another life and goes into other generations. We say it all the time, I would love for a kid to walk away with a print that looks really great, but I want him to sign it and say, look, now you're an artist, you just did it. Well, you know, when you're a kid and you're asked, hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? You're usually just kind of pulling from what you've seen. When I was younger, I had a few people around that were artists and they were making a living drawing or painting and stuff. And I was like, oh, damn, I didn't know you could do that for a job. I talk to groups of kids all the time and I always explain like, Anything's possible, you know what I mean? Like if you really want this bad enough and it's something you really believe in yourself and you really try hard enough, you can actually like find a career in the arts. One of the best ways for me to reproduce my art and share with people who work. Because again, most of my collectors are used. And there's a lot of cool goals that could happen from this thing, but honestly, the thing I think is coolest is seeing this studio really come to life. Mm -hmm.